Talking, writing, signing, texting. These are just some of the ways we communicate every single day. Communication is an essential skill that allows us to work as a team, problem solve, and express our ideas. Whether you're working on a group project, part of a sports team, or building a car, it's important that everyone has a chance to speak and that they also listen. In this video, you'll hear from GM employees who work at different plants and offices as they share why being an effective communicator is so important in their personal lives and at their jobs. At GM, employees talk through complex problems every day, and many even work alongside robots. Let's join industrial electrician Sylvia on the plant floor as she explains how communication skills help her team build transmissions, the part that makes a car go. So what we have right here is called a collaborative robot. And what a collaborative robot is, is you don't need a special safety gate around it to protect it from people because with this, with the slightest touch, it'll stop. So what we have right here is a Yamaha robot, which dispenses RTV. And what's really great about it is you have to get, to get the perfect feed, you have to time the pressure that it comes out of and then the speed at which it goes around the part. And right afterwards, it takes a picture of the cover and sees if there's gaps or um, overflow and it rejects it. If not, it's good. The operator puts it on the engine. Being able to talk to people, rolling ideas off each other. Communication is the number one thing here because you are working with other people and you want to be able to explain what is going on efficiently and precisely so they can start troubleshooting themselves and you're not leading them on the wrong path because you gave them the wrong information. The older I get, the more I realize how important communication is at every aspect of life, every involvement. Communication is absolutely essential. If you ever expect to work for someone and get a paycheck, you need to communicate clearly. You really have to be able to write, you have to be able to speak, and truly be passionate about what you want to do. I think it speaks volumes if you're passionate. I genuinely like being around people and get energy from that. And I think that is an important skill to have. A lot of engineers can't communicate very well, and so I think that's a softer skill that is extremely important. Communication is super important and teamwork is super important because it makes a task that may be difficult a little bit easier when everybody's working together. If I'm super talkative and you're more action driven, we gotta learn how to come together and meet in the middle. So I think that that is all something that makes communication and teamwork important. It's very important to work on your relationships with the people you work with because they're gonna know stuff that you don't know and they're gonna help you out we're here with them more than we are with our family some most days. So throughout the years and just being in sports, you really have to lean in on each one another to be successful. We're all from different backgrounds. We're all different people. We all have different feelings, thoughts, and emotions. But when it all comes together, we paint a beautiful picture. You're not always going to agree on the same way of doing something, but that's OK. It's best to talk it through and keep moving forward. Even if it's not your way, you may learn something new, which is awesome. In school, you learn you know, some of like the hard skills that you learn in your classes, but then I think alongside of that, hopefully along the way, you, you start to learn some of those softer skills as well. And it goes a long way, I think, when somebody feels like their input matters, is valued, and that they're appreciated, they're more willing to bring their best work and you know do their best effort. Be kind and respectful to people. Listen more than talk. One person doesn't carry the whole team, the whole ship. We, we need every work in peace to come together. Everybody has a story, and growing up in New York, that has allowed me to incorporating that skill and just in anywhere else I am, where I'm in Michigan or visiting friends in Los Angeles or in Oklahoma. It also allows me to work well with everybody else in any other aspect of life. I've got a team of about 15 people that I work with, whether it be people driving a truck or running the press or doing whatever. We get everybody situated, let them know what the game plan is, and then it's, just, it's running parts all day. It could be running doors and knowing how many we've got to run or what speed we have to run at or what we have to do to it. It's keeping people engaged in running. Communication is key around here. 
no one's gonna know what's going on unless we all talk. It's not just electricians that I communicate with. They're millwrights, tool makers, pipe fitters, machine repair. So there's many different things that I get called to and, and pulled to to help out with. And once the calls start coming in, you know, everyone's going out and grabbing their tools and going to whatever piece of equipment we got called to. And we work together as a team usually to troubleshoot, diagnose what went on, and get the piece of equipment back up and running as soon as we can. I would rather people be honest with me and go, that's okay, but you know, you kind of missed the mark on that. This blueprint said that this should be three feet long. I would rather know that so I can go back and fix it. Because you can't get better if you don't know that you, <laughs> you're not good at it. The biggest thing is feedback. And by feedback, I mean, try to explain the problem to your team as best as you can, or explain the solution. There's often times where not everyone knew how to fix this problem, but the more that your team knows and may encounter this in the future, they can have something to refer to. It's beneficial for everyone to know how to fix problems as opposed to all the knowledge being hoarded by one person. Each person's input is valuable. Everyone's opinion is valid. Everyone's opinion is worthy. So I'd say reach out, talk, don't be afraid to speak up. Communicating to the best of your ability will help you to be a better teammate, a better student, and a better friend. Speak clearly, ask questions, but most importantly, don't forget to listen.